Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. The state of Disney Star Wars, it's a state of disarray, it's a state of abomination, it's a state of hell and despair, pain and suffering. I could keep going on and on like that, but you get the picture. Disney Star Wars sucks, and it sucks because they aren't telling actual Star Wars stories because Dave Filoni is a hack. He steals things, he warps things, he perverts things, he corrupts things, he only cares about his story he doesn't care about george's galaxy far far away and nobody else at lucasfilm cares about george's galaxy far far away they only care about everything since 2012 and they've cultivated a fan base that only cares about everything since 2012 with the exception of feloni clone wars now Ahsoka is ending. We are here. It is it's Tano Tuesday, guys. Yay! It's Tano Tuesday. What does that mean? It means eight episodes in, and what the hell has even happened? Literally, I would say it's roughly six and a half, seven hours, because some of those episodes were a little short. But we got all this time, and nothing but a lot of girl bossing, nothing but a lot of lore breaking, nothing but a lot of women's power. Oh, and a guy, uh, and Fat Thrawn. Fat Thrawn, who uh, isn't even remotely the tactical genius that real Thrawn is. We also have Ray Stevenson, who's the only guy who showed up to act. Everybody loves Balin Skull, but seven episodes in, in a few short hours, an eighth episode, what do we know going into this final episode about Balin Skull? We know nothing. We know at Absolutely nothing. He liked the ideal of the Jedi, but the weakness bothered him, so he's happy the weakness is gone. Something is calling to him, but we don't know what. What does he want to do when he finds what's calling to him? What does he want a part of Thrawn's New Empire? Wait, he was all about Thrawn's New Empire, but now he doesn't care about Thrawn's New Empire because now he's going to wander off into the wilderness on other galaxy planet and do F all. Let's see. What else goes on in this show? Um... Plot armor, plot armor, plot armor, try hard characters nobody cares about, nobody knows about, because let's remember, the normies don't know these characters. I know these characters because I've done my research, and I've kept up over the years, so that I know my enemy. Know thy enemy, and you shall know his weaknesses. And what is Disney Star Wars' weaknesses? Shallow characters that are nothing, meaningless, all about emotion, 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 no depth, no soul, no actual building, it's all pretend. Holds no substance. Try hard Ezra Bridger Jedi boy. He's not a Jedi. Trained by mother and father. Cannot in the area. Mm. Hera is empty. Boring. Soulless. And now in live action, she's a girl boss who gets away with everything. Gets people killed. Breaks the rules. Doesn't matter. She's fine. Let's just use her as a vehicle for we love rebels. Ahsoka, Sabine, covered in plot armor. Doesn't matter that Ahsoka's drowning for hours in, a, in, in the sea. She has a nice little force vision. All we needed that was to do was to bring in some member berries of Anakin to remind you of things that were, frankly, more Star Wars than this is. Remember Anakin. We give Hayden Christensen no shade. He just showed up to do a job. And you know what? Hayden Christensen can take his place in the Star Wars Hall of Fame and just be good. Got no problems with Hayden anymore. And he actually showed up to do the job. He played Anakin. He still had the moves. Unlike Rosario Dawson, who can't even take two steps without looking like a grandma carrying around too much weight. She's got zero athletic ability. And the chick playing Sabine, well, she looks like a 12-year-old boy when she cut off her hair. And she's covered in so much plot armor that it's stupid. How many times can, can she get shot in the same place on her Beskar armor when... 60% of her body isn't covered by it, and no one sues her. How many times could she get hit in the back of the head and not fall down and die? How many times, well, I can keep going, she's got plot armor that keeps her alive forever. But Dizzy doesn't care. They care about pandering to shippers, the sick weirdo shippers out there who see relationships where they don't exist, and they want them all to be gay relationships too. I don't know what that's about, but that's what they all seem to want. That is the audience they have cultivated. But we're not done. Ahsoka's over. Disney Star Wars has plenty more room to burn. Please, please, Queen, 
Queen Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> we are now getting the Acoloid. The Acoloid is coming. There's a leaked trailer out there. I haven't watched it. I've talked about it, but I haven't watched it because one, I'm gonna. I want a fresh reaction when I can actually put up on the screen. You can see me be annoyed, to say the least. I'm saving it for that. But at the same time, I do know what happens in it, and it's just boring. It's all flash, no sizzle, because Leslie Headland, former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, doesn't actually know Star Wars. Tell me what kind of Star Wars fan are you? I am the type of Star Wars fan that doesn't even have a favorite movie. I just want to live in the universe of Star Wars mm -hmm. continually in perpetuity forever. So when people are like, what's your, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm like, there is no Star Wars movie. There is only Star Wars. She doesn't care. She, all she cares about is putting her agenda in there. Oh, look, I'm queer. I'm a queer girl. Things are queer coded. I have the right to queer, 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 queer and gay it up. Because that's my agenda. And oh, look, lots of lightsabers. Don't you like lightsabers? There aren't lightsabers a Star Wars thing? She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't care. To use the line from the, to, to, the quote from the trailer going around, for her, it is all about power. Everything's about power with her. How much power can she hold on to to craft her message and ideology into every little bit of material she makes? She doesn't care what the vehicle is as long as it's a vehicle to get her message across. How much power can she use? How much influence can she gain by holding her relationship with Harvey Weinstein as a bargaining chip? Because that's how she got where she was. By flipping on the man who gave her prominence, gave her a position, a position that she used to uh, have women be hurt. That's Hollywood. This, this is Disney Star Wars. They don't care. The Force is female. The Force, in some cases, might be Fuda. <laughs> this is what Kathleen Kennedy always wanted, and nothing's going to change as long as she's there, as long as Disney owns Disney Star Wars, Disney Lucasfilm. It's, nothing's ever going to change. Now that, in the future, once Kathleen Kennedy is gone, and Disney will, in my opinion, be forced to sell Lucasfilm because it doesn't make them any money. They've lost billions of dollars at this point with all their Lucasfilm properties. How can you possibly keep something that doesn't make any money? That's the question at hand. We're going to find out in the years to come. And it's going to be years. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Not going to happen. Not even going to happen in the end of next year when she likely, hopefully, leaves under a ticker tape parade with all the praise in the world. Greatest CEO president of a studio ever. She ran it into the ground but she does fetch a mean cup of coffee. Either way, this is Disney Star Wars, guys. Oh, there's Ray movies. There's the canceled James Mangold movie. There's the canceled <laughs> Taika Waititi movie. Where's that Ryan Johnson trilogy? Where's that Dan and Dave trilogy? <sighs> well, we got the Dave Filoni Mandoverse movie coming up first. That's what's coming up next. And you know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. Filoni's a hack. Kathleen Kennedy's evil. And uh, <laughs> Ray Skywalker's a Palpatine. All right. We're done here. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We're able to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny Stan and SGW Fifi's. Hit the notification button, share my videos with like on preaching, and by all means, Leave a comment. Love to hear from real passionate fans. I care what you think. I do not care what the stands. Fake fans and SJWs have to say because two of one, they're all cowards behind keyboards. And my facts, logic, truth, and honesty triggers them. That makes my day. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there, who knows, at the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.